Everybody knows His Majesty King Carol II, the present ruler of Romania. He is fortunate to have Romania to rule, as it is one of the most beautiful countries in southern Europe. With him is his brother, Prince Nicholas, and his son, Crown Prince Michael, once a king himself before the return of his father. King Carol loves to drive the high-powered Hispano Suiza himself, and now he leaves Hunedoara for a long stretch to his castle in Sinaia, romantically located in the Carpathian Mountains one of Romania's cities renowned for its charm and beauty. You will find many roads like this one in Sanaya. They are cut right through an old pine forest, which today, however, is a national park. There are such roads leading to mountaintops from where the view is absolutely unforgettable. Like in fairy tales, this road brings you to the charming castle Pelesh, the favorite summer and winter residence of the Romanian royal family. The Pelesh Castle was built in 1887 by Romania's first king, Carol I, who was crowned in 1881 in Bucharest after the declaration of Romania's independence, which took place in 1877. In this splendid castle, there are many outstanding paintings, classics, and the works of modern artists. A great amount of the sculptured furniture is the artwork of the old King Carol I, who was renowned for his hobby. The style of this architecture is Swiss throughout, with the exception of the statues in the garden, which are of French origin. On July 20th, 1927, King Ferdinand I, the actual king's father, passed away in this castle after a long illness. Not far from the royal summer palace we have just seen, is Sanaya's monastery with its bell tower, from where were shouted warnings against aerial attacks during the World War. This magnificent monastery's cathedral, an example of typical Romanian architecture, is the work of many artists who spent years to complete it. Inside, there are religious paintings on the walls and ceiling beautifying this holy church where people come from far and near to pray for peace and happiness. Almost all houses in Sanaya bear the stamp of Romanian architectural style, original in itself and copied in other countries for its beauty. Modernistic touches can also be found in this house recently built, making it so much more outstanding when you consider this small type of mountain house, which one often finds in Romania. You can have a lot of fun in Sanaya, besides seeing so many beautiful and interesting things, if you venture into this majestic casino where Chemin de Fer and Roulette games will give you plenty of thrills. And inside the casino, there is also a nice theater a restaurant, an American bar, a library, and other attractions to make it enjoyable for any visitor who would come to Sanaya, either in the summer or the wintertime, when skiing and bobsledding are in full swing. After a long walk in the woods or a strenuous session at the roulette table, this lovely park where everybody meets is an ideal place for relaxation with its gorgeous flowers and its comfortable benches. Real oriental atmosphere is prevailing at this terrace where one can have sweet lukum, Turkish coffee made to order, and even his fortune told before he tries his luck at the casino. History, romance, and mystery are closely connected with this inspiring castle located in Hunedwara, a city in northwestern Romania. Take a good look at this very old fortress. Just imagine armored crusaders riding on prancing chargers ready to fight for the heart of a fair lady 
or for their religion. This castle in Braun was the silent witness of many traditional braveries. It was built in the 12th century by crusaders. But today, it belongs to Dowager Queen Marie, who is so well known to all. There comes Her Majesty Queen Marie, dressed in national Romanian garments, a finesse of craftsmanship. She is a great queen with a very kind human heart. No wonder she is so much loved and worshipped by her subjects. Romanian peasants are hard-working people, tilling the soil with animals like these husky oxen or with machines like this American tractor, of which a great number are in use today. The paramount production of Romania's farmlands is wheat and corn, being of an excellent quality and exported to many foreign countries. Corn husking is a hard task, but also a lot of fun for the young people who sing and tell stories to keep happy as they always are. When mealtime nears, that famous national mamaliga is cooked. Mamaliga is cornmeal boiled in salted water, stirred continuously until it is served. The taste is delicious. No wonder they enjoy it after a hard day's work in the fields. There is no such thing as lack of appetite among these healthy peasants. When the meal is finished, they go back to their jobs and work until sunset. You can read contentment on the faces of these young and old cowhands who know more about weather forecasting than you or I. They live in the open with their cattle, which are raised in surroundings of peace and quiet, where nobody disturbs them in their daily routine of living, except perhaps when the butcher comes around. These cows are very good-natured. They don't mind being looked at at all. Except, possibly, that one buffalo who is probably wondering if we're making fun of him. These people are going to market, carrying their load on their heads. They walk many miles, and they certainly are some jugglers. Are Romanian women beautiful? What do you think? After a week's hard work, on Sundays, everyone who can walk at all goes dancing on the public field outside the village, where gypsy music keeps them turning, swinging, and laughing until sunset. Romanian dances are original, as is the music which goes with them. Enescu's Romanian Rhapsody is based on these dances and folk songs and is fast becoming a classic. This swanky beach on the Black Sea, called Carmen Silva, after Romania's first queen, is renowned for its therapeutical qualities. Applications with mud from a nearby lake are said to have cured many unhappy rheumatics. This lake, called Tekirjial, has become famous for its radioactive substances which are indispensable in certain cures. The casino, the beach, and all water sports provide the vacation fun, and of course, there is also a nudist colony. Do you like fishing? There is a fine catch for you. A 300 pounder caught in the Danube's Delta, the fisherman's paradise. All kinds of fish are being caught here by these Lipovanians, fishermen for generations. Nearly all wear black beards and it's pretty hard to tell them apart. When you eat black caviar, remember them, because they catch the fish producing this expensive delicacy which comes in large quantities from Romania. And this is Bucharest, Romania's capital, called Europe's little Paris because of its resemblance to that great French metropolis. Completely modernized with Occidental comfort, it gives you a unique kind of thrill. You can ride in a luxurious taxi or a horse cab, enjoy a French, German, or American talkie, or go to a theater and see one of the world's great celebrities. People are very polite and obliging. They are perfect hosts to any visitor, always trying to make him feel at home. Bucharest is the center of all big Romanian enterprises, many of them having their own buildings. 
its population amounts to nearly a million souls, and all its characteristics are most cosmopolitan. There are boardwalk cafes, as in Paris, department stores and lovely little shops with everything your heart desires, modern automatic cafeterias, and exquisite old world restaurants, offering international cuisines which are designed to satisfy the most exacting epicure. When you consider you can fly from Paris to Bucharest in 15 hours, you will realize how easy it is to accept that cordial invitation to come up and see it sometime. Thank you.